Good morning. It's October 30th, and that means uh, it's the day before Halloween, but in school it means it's Halloween, so we are hoping to have collected enough photos to entertain you of the best costumes of this year. With that, I think the best costume I've seen all year is Grayson Ferrari. So Grayson, take it over at news. A spike of coronavirus cases among Syracuse University students are being blamed on an off-campus party and the crowd at the Orange Crate Brewing Company last weekend. People who were at either of those places were advised to take shelter and not attend in-person classes. This is the second time the university has reported a concerning outbreak amid students. Nearing the end of the election season, President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden both chose to campaign in Florida yesterday, with Biden holding a drive-in event in Broward County and Trump holding a rally in Tampa. The rallies are also looking to overlap again, with both candidates campaigning in Minnesota and Wisconsin today. Minnesota also had a federal appeals court rule that mail-in ballots must be received by election officials no later than Election Day and suggested that voters consider other options if they think their votes may be submitted late. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cheerleading Open Gym starts this Monday. The classroom code for more information is CN... I don't know, I can't really do it, but I was trying to get in the cheerleading spirit. The code is CNBNXOY. And beginning on Monday, November 2nd, senior students will need to get their lunch from the large cafeteria before going to the senior cafeteria to sit down. Lunch service on the senior side is temporarily sus suspended due to low participation. The good news is that on the large side, they have opened up a la carte sales, which means that seniors can now have, are now purchased chips, bottled beverages, Rice Krispie treats, Pop-Tarts, muffins, and fresh baked cookies. Now we're gonna go over to Nicole with weather and check it out. Can you see all the errors on the seven day forecast? Look for them, I think there's five. Today will be brisk and chilly with some morning snow showers, then afternoon sun with a high around 40. Tomorrow is Halloween and the weather is looking good. It will be a bit chilly, but mainly clear skies with highs in the mid to upper 40s. Sunday will be windy and mostly cloudy with possible evening showers and of highs in the 50s. Monday will be chilly with scattered snow showers and of highs near 40. Tuesday will be a bit chilly with clouds with just a very slight risk of a morning rain or snow shower with highs in the 40s. And Wednesday and Thursday will be mostly sunny with highs between the mid-50s to 60. I'm Nicole with your weather. All right, thanks, Nicole. And we're continuing our Sweet 16 of words you never want to hear again in 2020, or after 2020. So our last one on Thursday was stay healthy versus Zoom, and you guys have said you never want to hear Zoom again. And if they go to the next slide, it would have helped me out a little bit because it would have shown that matchup. But now we're looking at today's matchup, and today's matchup is, what word do you never want to hear again? Mask knee, you know, the acne you get from wearing a mask all the time. Or do you never want to hear the expression Google Meet, Google Hangout, Google Class, Google anything? So let us know your thoughts on that. And here to talk a little bit more about sports, Angelino Polcaro, who also played in yesterday's uh, victorious girls soccer game. In upcoming games, the field hockey team plays at Auburn today. And on Saturday, the boys and girls cross country teams have a meet at Auburn. The tennis team has a match at Cortland and the boys soccer has a game against FM. On Monday, the field hockey team plays FM and the boys soccer team plays away at CBA. Both the boys and girls soccer teams are undefeated with 8-0 records. The boys beat Cortland 2-0 with goals scored by Todd Durantini and Armin Usmanovic. The girls also beat Cortland 5-0. Goals were scored by Lena Polcaro, Jenna Hudgens, Leah Rem, and Natalie Peterson. Last night, the Atlanta Falcons beat the Carolina Panthers 25-17. Todd Gurley ran for his league-leading 
eighth rushing touchdown of the year. Matt Ryan threw 281 yards and had one INT. Julio Jones had seven interceptions for 137 yards. Some under the radar waiver wire pickups for your fantasy team this week include Browns tight end Harrison Bryant, Bucks wide receiver Scotty Miller, and 49ers running back Jamichael Hasty. Thank you guys all for watching. Just so you know, I traveled to the future like one day ahead. Found out we'll still be wearing masks tomorrow. Hope everybody has a nice Halloween. Have a good day.